Hello, how are you? Welcome back to our tutorial series. Today we are delving into a crucial aspects of programming language that is keyword. These are the words that carry a special meaning in programming language and form the fundamental foundation of how we write code. So grab your coding snacks and let's get started and let's drive into the world of keywords. First thing first, what are keywords? Keywords are reserved words in programming language and that have a predefined meaning. They cannot be used as an identifier. Identifier, we already discussed about what is identifier. Identifier is a name or variables, function, class name or other relevant that you can give by yourself. Okay. So keywords cannot be used as an identifier because they are already set aside for specific purposes within the language. Now let's take an example of common keywords. Let's explore some common keywords that you will encounter across various programming languages. These keywords include words like if, else, while, for, class, return, break and many more other keywords also there in each and every programming language. So each keyword serves a unique role in controlling the flow and the behavior of your code. Okay, so you can categorize your keywords in different way. Keywords can be categorized based on their functionalities. For example, there are some control follow related keywords. For example, if, else, switch, while, for. So these are some example of a control follow keywords. Some are declaration based keywords. For example, integer, float, character, class, function. So these keywords are related to a declaration so when you want to declare a variable integer that time you will use integer at the time of floating point number declaration you will use the float keyword uh, at the time of character related keyword use you you would use character so when you will declare the class then that time you will use the class keyword okay so like this way also we have some modifier keyword for example public private static final some input output related keywords are there for example print input read write so based on the programming language these keywords may vary in some programming language maybe one particular word may be keyword in other programming language that particular keyword may not be uh, the keyword so for that reason you have to uh, search you have to understand the set of keywords that are present on that programming language as well as for example exception related handling uh, we have try catch finally uh, keyword is there so one may ask that what is the importance of keywords then say to him that keyword are the backbone of programming language and they provide structure define actions and dictate the behavior of your code understanding this keyword is essential for writing effective and error-free programs so one may ask that if i'll give a name of a uh, identifier as a keyword then what is the problem is going to happen in my code so for that to answer this question i'll say avoid keyword conflicts since keywords are reserved it's crucial to avoid them using identifiers in your code using a keyword as an identifier can lead a syntax error or an unexpected behavior so always choose meaningful names for your variable function and classes instead of choosing the keywords okay so that's it for this video in the conclusion i want to say that keywords are languages vocabulary and this saves how you communicate with the computer whether you are a beginner or an experienced coder a solid understanding of keywords is a key writing efficient and functional code if you are enjoying this video don't forget to like and comment on this video so thanks for watching this video happy coding